I, f I follow um, uh, good quotes on Instagram, nice little uplifting quotes. Mm -hmm. And there was a video of Sylvester Stallone, and I laughed. I'm like, haha, they have to have the subtitles underneath <laughs> him. <right? laughs> But what he was saying was brilliant and how he was saying it. At some point you stopped being you. You let people stick a finger in your face and tell you you're no good. And when things got hard, you started looking for something to blame, like a big shadow. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, nobody, nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth, but you gotta be willing to take the hits. And not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you wanna be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that. And that ain't you. You're better than that. I feel like it's about accepting what you want out of this career. And by accepting that, that is ownership. You need to own what you want. It will not be given to you, just like that speech said, right? So. If you own it, then you can work with it. And that's, and I ended up having a lot of fun, even if I didn't book, but then I started booking. And I think that's because I was having fun. And it's all a matter of my own perspective. And I, you know, we hear these things and you know, in my generation, we watched Oprah 4 p.m. So I know I've heard it, I heard it, but I feel like for the first time, <laughs> for the first time I'm actually feeling it because I reached my dream. I, I got a television series. And after many, many, many years of slogging it out and having lots of different part-time jobs and all kinds of stuff, I did it, right? I'm still the same person. And the one question I regret never asking myself was something deeper. Well, it's like, what, what is this about for you? Because I love acting. As soon as they say action, between action and cut, I'm at my happiest. Mm -hmm. I realize, like, I know this, I know this, I know this as a fact. I'm happiest there and nothing can take that away from me. Mm -hmm. But the slog of so many years of auditioning and whatnot, I got attached to the result, which is booking the job. And that's addictive. Mm -hmm. That's addictive and I know that because I can feel it, because as soon as I book the job, I'm like, what next? And I'm like, ooh, mm -hmm. that's not a good attitude. Mm -hmm. What next should be, let's start learning our lines. Let's call up the director and be like, hey, I have some questions about this character. Mm -hmm. Let's, you know, like, let's get into the work. Mm -hmm. And I do that, but there's a part of me that's like, I want, I want, I want the call, right? Mm -hmm. I want the call. Mm -hmm. um, so this has been my journey, uh, this particular, I guess the whole time, but like I've, I've made a, very um, conscious effort to really analyze this about myself yeah. this year. Yeah. And I, I hope you guys can hear it. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking that, um, you know, if I were to turn back the hands of time mm. and someone were to be able to tell me this, I wish I had maintained my create personal creativity more, yeah. you know? Um, as opposed to having the singular view of get the show, get the show, get right. the show, get the show. Yeah. That's someone else's project mm -hmm. that you will be attached to. Mm -hmm. What's my project? What's my dream? What's my goal? Right. What is, you know what I mean? And that's what this business actually is, the yeah. more I see it. Mm -hmm. Different people have their different projects. You help someone out, you know, and you say, hey, I got this thing. Does this interest you? No, what about you? You know, oh, yeah, well, I know a guy who can, and like, it's a matrix, yeah. you know, and as long I feel as you are connected to the passion, mm -hmm. which is that thing you do for free, mm -hmm. then I feel like it's easier to do the slog. Mm -hmm. 
of perpetual auditions and the, you know, the disappointment and, you know, trying to stay about the process even though your rent is due and <laughs> that needs a result and, um, you know, but if you can just have that and I wish someone had told me that years ago. I now realize those people behind the table, a lot of them have no fucking clue what they want right. and they're waiting for you <laughs> to deliver something. Right. They've, they've told yeah. me this, yeah. you know, yeah. I've, I heard. Yeah. And so, and if you're not giving them what they want, they want to see that you can deliver an opinion mm -hmm. through and through, right? And those are those moments where I've always felt the best, where I'm just yeah. like, ah, oh, screw this, I'm gonna do what I wanna do. Yeah. And I do it and I have fun and then they have fun and like, and they feel me because I'm feeling it, you know? Mm -hmm. But that's your job. That's the work. And the more I try to fit yeah. into something else, not only do I lose myself as an yeah. actor, I lose myself as a human being. Mm -hmm. yeah. You will lose yourself as a human being. It's the loneliest feeling ever. Keeping your hair the way how you want to keep your hair, even though they're like, well, you know, you would work more, like that, that, someone told me that, you would work more if your hair was straight. Actually, Google black actress, see what comes up. Black Panther, I think, has changed that a little bit. But before Black Panther, if you Googled black actress, that's what I am, it was a bunch of women, black women who we all know, and their hair is straight, and their complexion is lighter than mine. And if it's not lighter than mine, the light has made it lighter than mine. So it was understandable, I guess, um, to have people tell me, you know, you'd be more marketable if your hair was straight. Okay, well, I haven't worked in a little while, and you know, I really don't want to keep with my part-time job anymore, so maybe I'll just go get it straightened, or maybe I'll buy a wig, and oh, those are you know, pretty expensive. Oh, maybe I'll do that, and maybe if I change my body, or maybe if I get the breast implants or the butt implants, or maybe if I do this, maybe if I do that, you know? And you will lose yourself, and that's just external things. The audition, I feel, be yeah. ends up becoming so much about you. It is not about you. It is about that story that is being told, that has a distribution deal and everybody is liable. Everyone's job is a fucking stake, right? And everybody wants their next job. So it's not, the audition isn't about you. It's about the story and your character's part in the story. And they're just trying to figure out the best piece of the puzzle. So it ain't got nothing to do with you. I have bombed auditions, mm. bombed them. Just like, like literally can't remember my lines. And I'm just like, oh, I just want to crawl in a hole and die right now. Just put me down. Yeah. And, I, and I book it. Yeah. And then there's other ones, I'm sure this happened to you as well, where you're just like, whoo, I'm freaking, God, I'm Meryl Streep. This is Miami from Canada. <laughs> and like, and you go and you and they're like, oh no, you're not even in the mix. Like, huh? huh? Like, did they not see my tape? No, no, no. They watched everyone's tape. No, oh, okay. Oh, I'm sure you're great. By the way, I have another audition for you because it's all about the next story that's being told. Yeah. It's not about you. So every single audition I treat as a piece of theater. That, okay. Producer, director. Yeah, the camera's there. Okay. You know, and then I do my uh, bang, bang, uh, uh, uh. I told you I would never, ever, I would, you know, I would, whatever the line is, whatever, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, just trying to think of a good one. I say hello to my little friend. I do my audition. I'm like, thanks, guys. Right? And then I leave. The audition is the performance. That is the job, is to perform it. And if you're lucky, you'll get to do it again on camera. But if you can treat every single audition as a chance to perform, Man, mm -hmm. you will save yourself a, heart, a, a heartache, you know what I mean? It's one show, one show only, voila, mm -hmm. all the best. Right. And you let it, and I, and I drop it, and I right. let it go. And it's been, I feel like the healthiest thing for my heart. Mm -hmm. Protect your heart, because you need it for your artistry. And if you give it away to an audition, where there will be thousands and thousands and thousands of them in your career, that's setting yourself up for heartache, isn't it? It's all about having personal integrity, and that doesn't mean you're not gonna cry or feel angry or on any of the other negative emotions, but I guarantee you that if you are experiencing whatever you're experiencing in integrity, you'll be able to move through those emotions.
Guaranteed. And that means also owning up to your faults. Don't be scared of your agent. If you're scared of your agent and like you don't want to like call them up and be like, why haven't I auditioned? Like I've had to have those awkward conversations with her, you know, especially because we are buddy buddy with each other. Um, you have to be able to speak your truth. And that means ask questions that like, I should know this already. I, I feel stupid asking these questions and I'll preface it with that. Um, uh, but I'll ask the stupid questions. Uh, and be stupid and um, in front of her if I'm feeling any kind of like inferiority because you should not feel inferior to your agent at all. You're not helping anyone out. Not yourself and certainly not your agent. They could have another one of you with a much more healthier relationship and that's on you and that goes back to ownership. Ownership and integrity. I think that was the thesis of my Awesome. of this speech. Thank you very much. Thank you.